So you missed this information. I got it. But your answer is wrong. So that's what I'm saying. It's a good thing, because you're going to mix, mix up these little things. I'll explain. So um, in this example, first thing you guys remember, y prime is the same thing as dy over dx equals 5x over y. So that goes in and helps us um, now to go ahead and get our x's and our y's to the same side. I can multiply by a dx on both sides and multiply by a y on both sides. So therefore, I have y dy equals 5x dx. Now, in this case, uh, what I'm simply going to do is just go ahead and integrate. And I'll have y squared over 2 equals um, 5x squared over 2. And then I can have my plus c. All right. Now I have my value. I have a 0 and a negative 1. So let's do negative 1 squared over 2 equals 5 times 0 squared over 2 plus 0. That goes to 0, and that equals 1 half equals c. Over here. So now I can plug that um, back in to my equation. So I have y squared over 2 equals 5x squared over 2 plus 1 half. And then I need to solve for y. So I'll multiply by 2. Just make sure you multiply that 2 by both of them. So make sure you use your parentheses. So I have y squared equals 5x squared plus uh, 1. Then remember, when you take the square root on both sides to, solve, to get to y, you have y equals plus or minus the square root of 5x squared plus 1. But we're looking for a particular solution. So we got to see which solution actually makes sense. And if you guys remember, the square root function, square root graph, Right, right up there, square root of x looks like that. So negative square root of x would look like that. Correct? And where is the point that it has to go through? 0, um, zero comma negative 1. So whatever this graph is, obviously this graph has transformations, right? But whatever that graph is, you can see that's going to be the negative solution. So therefore, and obviously if you plug in into the negative, um, into that y, if you plug that point in, what you'll see is then this negative satisfies it. So what you can do is plug in negative 1 equals negative square root of 5, 0 squared plus 1. And you get negative 1 equals negative 1. Right? So you can always plug your point back into your equation to make sure it's correct. Does everybody see that? Because what if you just plugged in, what if you plugged in negative, negative 1 and 0 into this? Does it work out? No, you get negative 1 is equal to positive 1, so it doesn't work. Okay, So therefore, the answer is y equals negative square root of 5x squared plus 1. All right, I was going to teach this next week.